What's up, what's up guys? It's been a while and uh, here we are finally with an update. So I apologize for the delay in videos, the lack of videos. And honestly, my focus has been more on TikTok than YouTube lately and I do apologize for that. Um, and as far as live streams go, I have been live streaming over there almost daily, um, if not every other day at most, at, at least, whatever you want to say. Um, so yeah, this one's not going to be a live stream update. I will not have codes to give away or anything like that. Um, partly because, um, finances aren't where they used to be. So I have been, you know, trying to make some money back off of codes and to go along with that too, um, I will probably be shutting down the Patreon, um, over here on YouTube, uh, for there was only like three or four of you on that still anyways. So, uh, I know a big part of that was to have extra entries within the codes, but if you guys do want to show any extra love or support to the channel, you can definitely follow me on TikTok. You can be a subscriber over there, which helps out uh, the page a lot. Um, I have two of them right now and 30 something team members. I, I'm not exactly sure what the team members part does, but it only costs one coin, whatever that is. I don't know TikTok currency. Um, but yeah, I do go live quite often over there. It's just a lot more interactive. I show the collection. You guys can ask for movies, see if I have them, and uh, get a tour of everything over there. And it's just a lot more simpler. Uh, right now, there's actually some issues with that going on, and I'm not getting as many people in the lives as I used to. But uh, we are over 6,000 followers over there within just a few months of uh, that new account and I only have what less than 3,000 over here on YouTube after like 12 years So it's a little bit. I know it's a different platform. I understand um, It's it's not the same. I think YouTube subscribers are mean a lot more than followers over there uh, it, It's you can't even compare the two. I do understand that uh, but it's just a lot more gratifying I guess um, to have that many already over there on that new account and uh, if you guys aren't following me over there, the link to the new account, I did change that to that one on the, um, uh, what do you call it, like the bio, whatever, the description of the videos and everything. Uh, but yeah, and we're growing over on Instagram uh, slowly but surely as well. Uh, you know, I'd like to get to at least 2,000 over there would be great. But uh, I do appreciate all of you on YouTube that have been around since the beginning, especially. I know there's a few of you out there that have been here since day one, and that really, really means a lot to me. And I'm, I'm not going anywhere, believe me. Um, I'm just kind of focusing more on that right now. As far as the Patreon, I, I may bring that back at a later point if I can get my finances straight. I just I have to make some money back off of some of the movies that I buy. Um, so yeah, I, I have to justify that within myself. If I buy this, hey, I get 10 bucks for the code and I'm only paying 10 bucks for the movie or whatever the case. Uh, so yeah, it, it's just, you know, you got to change with the times and unfortunately that's, that's what it is right now. I'm not one to jump on ship to the newest thing right away, but uh, you know, um, it took me a long time to even make an account over there and it isn't as... Um, sincere i guess as as youtube it isn't as uh i don't know there's a lot of issues over there so we'll see how long that lasts again i'm not going anywhere here on youtube i will still at least be doing like um if i resubscribe to vinegar syndromes um you know subscription i will still be doing those unboxings over here you know your screen factory unboxings the the updates like i'm going to do now uh, this is going to be a long video, so grab a drink, grab some popcorn, whatever you want. Uh, this is going to be a long video because I really wanted to talk to you guys a little bit on this one um, and kind of explain why I've been absent so much. But uh, yeah, you know, things in life just happen and um, there's definitely more money to be made over on TikTok too with the gifts you can give during live streams, things like that. But you got to be really, really, really careful over there too. I kind of say what I want over here on YouTube, but over there you kind of got to watch what you say, watch what you show. It is a little bit more uh, restrictive. So uh, again, we'll see how long all that lasts. That being said, again, there will be no code giveaways or anything like that. I have um, gotten rid of all but two two of the codes in a Facebook group already. So, um, you know, unfortunately, times are tough for a lot of us right now, and I'm no exception. So, 
yeah, hopefully, hopefully that changes next year. Who knows? I, I, I don't know. We don't know what, what the future is going to bring. So, um, but I do want to say thank you sincerely from the bottom of my heart to all of you that have, have been here since day one. And again, I'm not going anywhere. The page is still going to be here. There's still going to be content, just not as much as there used to be in the past for now. Again, that could change on a daily basis who knows all right let's jump into the pickups i'll start with a few here that i got in for review the first one i'm surprised i got uh because i don't get too many uh review copies from major studios so this was a shock to me um still haven't checked it out i hear really great things and that is mission impossible dead reckoning part one um sent over from paramount and yeah, I, I was as shocked as you guys are that, that I actually got this. Um, sometimes I'll get the forums, but I never get anything sent and I actually sent this one. So really cool. Thank you so much to Paramount for sending this over. And I'm definitely excited to check this out. I just haven't um, found the time, been in the right uh, state of mind, will you, um, to, to watch this. I know it's going to be a high action sound, all that stuff. So I definitely want to watch it in here in the theater room and um dedicate uh 163 minutes <laughs> to this one but i'm definitely excited to check this one out here soon of course this is available now move on from that the rest of these are from mill creek who have been just awesome they have sent over everything i've requested and i i, I can't thank them enough they are absolutely incredible to work with and they put out some really good releases uh this first one here is waist deep and drop squad I've seen Waste Deep a long time ago. Don't remember much about it. Have not seen Drop Squad. Definitely decided to check that one out. This is another one that is available now. And one that I just got in a couple days ago. I was super, super stoked to get this. I, I don't think anybody says stoked anymore. But um, love, love this movie. Actually revisited it when they sent this over. This is the still book for Lords of Dogtown. This comes out on the 28th, this next Tuesday. And this is a Walmart exclusive. Uh, you, you know, we're not really going to get those Best Buy exclusives anymore. So Walmart exclusive here. Um, I don't think Milk Creek worked with Best Buy anyways. It does have a shine to it. I don't know if it picks up on camera, but you can see like the little silver shines in certain sections, which is really, really cool. Open that up. You get a shot of the pier. If you guys have seen the movie, you know that's where um, he jumps off the pier right there. But incredible incredible movie if you guys want to see my full thoughts on this follow me on letterbox i just did um, my written review for it uh but wow it, it's still as impactful impactful as i remember uh from watching it back in the day just love love this movie so much and you got emil hirsch and heath ledger um you know dogtown z boys documentary this followed that as you know a, a real film to um you know follow that documentary and just the performances everything are are incredible you care about the characters so much i love the look and feel of this movie um i, I mean i gave it a five out of five on letterbox even upon re-watching this I, I can't talk highly enough about this film again that is uh november 28th for that um exclusively at walmart for the still book i believe it's the same transfer as the blu-ray previously from uh mill creek the last one from Mill Creek, I don't, I don't know much about this at all, but uh, this is He-Man, Masters of the Universe, this is the animated, looks like this came out in, trying to find a year here, I know this is one of the newer ones, I don't know what year this came out, but I know this isn't like the original um, animated series, yeah, um, definitely excited to check this one out as well. I haven't watched anything He-Man related in a while, and this is available now from Mill Creek. So that's it for review stuff. I, I'm hoping to get some more stuff next year. I'm going to reach out again to some companies. I know there's not many companies releasing stuff. There's only a couple different distributors now, so um, things have, have changed and shifted, and you know, physical media is kind of on a teeter-totter, <laughs> what have you, right now. Um, it kind of doesn't know where it's going. I know um, Kino Lorber has striked a deal with Paramount. We're going to have like 80 or so titles from Kino uh, that were Paramount releases coming next year, uh, which is really awesome. I did see something. I don't know how true it is, but it kind of coincided with this. The Paramount was dropping about 60% of its catalog on streaming. So um, if that's true, those who re 
rely just upon streaming, you might want to consider picking up some physical discs. Um, again, I don't know how true that is. Don't quote me on that. Um, I'll have to investigate into that a little bit more, see what I can find out. But uh, yeah, that's it for review stuff. Let's jump into what I got for Black Friday. It was a pretty sad Black Friday. I did order a few things from the Severn site, some of their new releases. Had to grab that Cemetery Man for one. Um, I'll do an unboxing over here uh, when that package comes in in the next six months. Who, 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 who the hell knows when that's going to arrive. Uh, but aside from that, I only picked up 12 titles. 12 titles total for Black Friday. And I remember picking up 50, 60 titles on Black Friday in years past. You know, Walmart didn't have anything out for Black Friday. Target's psh, dead. Um, Best Buy, I did go there. Uh, if you guys want to see that little video, it's up on my TikTok page. Um, it's just, they didn't even have the the shippers. Uh, I, I went there when they first started the early Black Friday deals to Best Buy, and they had the shippers out. I went there on Black Friday. Shippers are gone. Like, it, okay, today's the actual day. Where, where, the, where the hell's the shippers? Um, it, it was just sad. But anyway, let's run through this. Uh, Finally, I picked up Free Guy. I think this was like seven bucks. I, I wanted the 4K, but for seven bucks, the Blu ray is fine. And um, yeah, I remember seeing this in theaters. Haven't rewatched it since. I went with my kids to see this, so I kind of have that memory. And um, I enjoyed it quite a bit, so I wanted to add that to the collection. And then uh, upgraded my DVD copy, finally, of the fifth element to 4K. I don't remember if this came with a slip. I think it did. If anyone has a slip, I'd be, I'd be interested in grabbing that. Uh, of course, then I don't really get my Black Friday deal if I pay extra for the slip. But anyways, it's neither here nor there. Uh, but definitely excited to revisit this. Haven't seen this in many years, and uh, especially on 4K. I, I remember enjoying this one quite a bit. And then the next one, I did stream this one first. Yes, I still stream some movies here and there. I did I did stream this one, and I found it pretty interesting. It was a little bit different than um, you know your your typical movie, and that is the menu. Um, this was like uh, six bucks. And got got like four bucks for the code or some shit. So I got, you know, two dollars. Why not? I'm, I'm not gonna say that on everyone, but all these that came with codes are, you know, made some money back. Uh, finally upgraded the first Insidious from DVD to Blu-ray. I need uh, two and three. I have Last Key and uh, Red Doors coming up. Uh, so slowly upgrading this. And uh, this was another Black Friday deal. And then, like I said, I grabbed Red Door. This dropped down to like 11 bucks for Black Friday. So, uh, yeah, that's a no-brainer. Got to add that to the collection. I haven't seen that one yet. I hear, yeah, kind of negative things. Another one I hear negative things about. I'm going to watch this one soon, though. I, I still enjoy the comic book movies. Uh, that is The Flash on 4K. I think this was like 14 or something uh, for Black Friday. So, you know, for that price, I, I wasn't going to pay the 30 for it or whatever when it first came out. But I, I try to keep up on the live action uh, comic book movies. I think the only one I need now is uh, Blue Beetle, as far as those go. And then uh, pick this one up. I haven't, I haven't seen this movie probably since I was a kid, and that is Cool Hand Luke. I think this was like 10 bucks for the Black Friday deal. And then this one, this movie, I, I, I kind of forgot I wasn't a Wes Anderson fan when I purchased this and then as soon as it started, I was like, oh shit, uh, I, I don't like these movies. <laughs> Did not care for this one at all. That is Asteroid City. I think it was like six bucks, but the cast got me. You got uh, Jason Schwartzman who plays the main character in here. You got Tom Hanks, Tilda Swinton, Brian Cranston, Edward Norton, Adrian Brody, Lee, Lee, Lee Schreiber, uh, Hope Davis, Steve Carell, Jeff Goldblum, Margot Robbie, Willem Dafoe, Matt Dillon, Scarlett Johansson, she's like the other main person in here. Uh, this movie is just weird. I, it was one of those movies that you get done watching, like, what the hell did I just watch? <laughs> but, uh, again, for, for six bucks, and of course, sold the code for, I think, four, so like two dollars to own it. You know, is what it is. All right, finally grabbed the third Creed movie. Um, I was torn between picking up the Blu-ray or the 4K. It was like a $2 price difference, and I have the other two on Blu-ray. And I was like, you know what, screw it. I'll just get the 4K. But, uh, yeah, I finally have all three Creeds. I have seen the first two. I hear this one isn't as good as the first two, but you got to complete the franchise, right? And then finally grabbed The Mist on 4K. This was like 11 bucks. That's a damn good deal. And, you know, I picked all these up in store, so I wanted to make sure I had the slip for this. Love this slip cover so much. I love the greens and everything. And this is like a four-disc edition. You got the black and white version on Blu-ray and 4K. 
Um, so yeah, this was another no brainer for 11 bucks. And then to complete for now, anyways, I'm sure there's going to be a hundred more. These movies just, uh, I, I don't know if they're ever going to stop making these movies, but finally grabbed fast X for 10 bucks. Um, again, another one, I was not going to pay like $30 for this 4k. It's just not going to happen. And this is definitely the most ridiculous one so far. It, it just goes way too out there, uh, way too unbelievable. Uh, but yeah, I had to complete the franchise, you know, for now. I did watch it and I liked, uh, John Cena in it though. And, uh, what's his name? Um, Aquaman. <laughs> Drawing a blank on his name, but, uh, I did, I did enjoy his character. Definitely brought a lot to it. Uh, what, what the fuck is his name? Jason Momoa, uh, was a lot of fun in it, but Vin Diesel's just, he's just getting way too old for these movies. Um, this one, I, I'm a huge Game of Thrones fan. Still haven't watched, uh, season eight though, because it, 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 it I hear it's not good, and I want to leave on a high note. I don't know. Maybe one day I'll, I'll finish it. I still need to get the rest of the seasons. Um, I do have the still books and the clear slip covers for, like, five of the seasons or something, so I want to keep getting those. Um, but, uh, again, huge fan of Game of Thrones. I hear this isn't as good as Game of Thrones, but still decent. And for 10 bucks, picked up House of the Dragon. Uh, after selling the code, it was 5 bucks. Can't, can't, can't beat that, right? I mean, come on. Uh, I'd rather have the 4K, but the Blu-ray's fine. All, all my Game of Thrones ones are Blu-ray, so whatever. All right, and then for the two big new releases recently, um, this sold out everywhere so fast for the 4K. Um, I have not checked this out yet. This is another one, kind of like uh, Mission Impossible. I'm going to have to be in the right mind state to watch this and dedicate, what, like three hours? I, I don't remember how long this one is. I know it's fucking long, though. Um, and that is Oppenheimer course biggest movie of the year this was sold out on amazon on targets on walmart uh everything uh and then i went to walmart right by my house and they had like 20 of these they had the icon edition uh the still book for this the best buy still book is people are selling for like 150 bucks so i'm kind of disappointed i didn't pre-order that <laughs> i would have uh, i'm not gonna lie i would have flipped that because uh, i'm happy with just the slip uh I, i'm not one to go out and buy movies to do that but um if i would have known phew, I, I probably would have, but, uh, definitely excited to check this out, see if it lives up to the hype, but, um, yeah, yeah, you gotta get Oppenheimer, right? I, I've, I've not gotten Barbie, I have no interest in that one. Maybe at some point I'll, I'll, I'll add it to the collection, but, and then to go with that, I did grab Salt X, I did watch this one, I did enjoy this one quite a bit, um, uh, I mean, Tobin Bell's in, like, every scene in this, which is, is, is nice to see, uh, the ending is kinda, kinda looted, kinda, what? Um, it, 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 a couple things didn't really make sense, but no, nothing ever makes sense in Saw movies 100%. So, um, basic story. I mean, he goes to have his surgery done. They kind of screw him over, um, you know, to get rid of his cancer. And, uh, he seeks revenge on those responsible. Um, you do have, uh, what's her name? Sh Shiny Smith back in here, Amanda. Um, this takes place between Saw 1 and 2. And it, it was decent. I, I enjoyed most of the traps were pretty good. The gore was pretty good. I uh, definitely recommend checking this one out if you guys haven't. This is the 4K uh, release, which was 25 everywhere except Best Buy, which is where I got it from. So I had to add them price match it because they wanted 30 So, yeah. All right. These next ones are ones that get added or get uh, requested a lot during my lives. And I just went ahead and grabbed them. Um, I placed an order through Groove uh, for the first time. And these were all really cheap. I did finally pick up Tron, the first one. This case is like super thin. I don't know weird uh so the original tron added that to the collection finally picked up a blu-ray of twister i haven't seen this in a long long time so definitely excited to revisit this i hear this may be getting a 4k next year so we'll see none of the none of these came with codes it's like they repackage them without the codes uh picked up the uh remake of amityville horror i did have this one before i think i gave away the dvd and and planned on grabbing the blu-ray but i love this remake i think ryan reynolds is absolutely fantastic in this i would love to see more horror films with him but um yeah i had to had to get this one again in the collection uh what else we got uh the mask gets called for a lot i do have the dvd but wanted to upgrade to the to the blu-ray of this my dvd is really really old i don't even know if it plays at this point it's got so many scratches on it the kids watched it a million times when they were little um uh, but yeah jim carrey and the mask i mean it's it's a comedy classic you got you got you got to have that 
Uh, this one I, I can't believe I didn't have in the collection, and it was like seven bucks. I, I I don't know if it was a Black Friday thing or not. I don't think it was. This was before that, but uh, I did finally pick up Willow. I don't know why I never owned this one before. I didn't have this on DVD or anything. So yeah, now I have Willow in the collection. And then this one was like three ninety nine, and uh, again got a couple bucks for the code, so I paid like maybe two dollars for this. And I hear the four K isn't very good. It's got some color grading issues. I don't know. Some people like it. Some people don't. So I just stuck with the Blu-ray. Finally upgraded my DVD copy of Heat. Uh, another one that gets called for a lot in the live streams. And then uh, this one was getting called for a lot. Not so much anymore. But I went ahead and picked up both editions. Um, I know I've seen the remake, but it's been a long time. I did revisit the, the remake for Cape Fear. Wow. they just This is one of those movies that... You could say they don't make movies like this anymore, and they really don't. The acting is so, so good in this. Um, the way it's shot, everything is just perfect. I, I, I love this movie so much. And again, I, I saw this when I was younger, so I didn't really um, grasp you know, a lot of things. Like, I knew what was going on. I knew what was happening. But as I've said before, as, as you get older, you go through certain things in life. You you have life experiences. You, you have more just general knowledge of the world and how fucked up it really is and how crazy people really are. Um, you start to appreciate different films more. And this is definitely one of those. Uh, you got Juliette Lewis in here, um, who I've uh, had a thing for <laughs> since I was, you know, a teenager. Um, you got Jessica Lang, Nick, Nick Nolte, Robert De Niro playing the villain. Um, crazy, crazy movie. And just, just really, really good. If you guys haven't seen the Cape Fear remake, definitely do yourselves a favor. I mean, that that is just, that is just good, good cinema. That, that's just, again, they don't make movies like that anymore, sadly. And then I had to grab the original. I've never seen the original. Still haven't checked it out. I know it's, Got the same premise, but there is a lot of differences between the original and the remake. Um, I did watch the bonus features on the remake, and it kind of dives into the original. And they're, they're two completely different films with the same kind of overall concept. Um, but yeah, excited to check this out. And you do have uh, Gregory Peck and... Um, um, yeah, Robert Mitchum back in the remake uh, for some cameos. So that was pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, definitely excited to check out the original at some point. And then another one gets called for a lot. Had to pick up the Iron Giant. Another one I'm surprised I didn't own. I just never grabbed it for whatever reason. Um, this is just a... I, I, I can't stand these cases. And I think it's got like a rip in it somewhere. But I don't know. It was like... These these were all like uh, two for 12 on Groove. So they were six bucks a piece. I whatever um and then i had the uh second one to this i've seen the first one uh just never picked it up for whatever reason and that is orphan another one from groove and that's that's it for that section these next three were sent over to me from uh my uh, one of my followers and subscribers here on youtube uh film addiction so thank you again man so much for sending these over i did watch one of them one, I'm waiting till uh, next month, which is here soon. And the other one, I just, I kind of forgot about, honestly. <laughs> it got lost in the shuffle. Um, but I will watch here soon. Uh, the first one here uh, that he sent me is The Battery. This is a Scream Factory uh, release, by the way, in association with uh, Raven Banner in Canada. Um, kind of a zombie apocalypse movie. But it focuses more on the friendship between these two guys. And it's really good. Uh, it's not very gory. It says, like... Um, something on the back here about being oh outrageously no wait it says something about being gory but it's not it's not it's not that gory uh but again it fo focuses mainly on the friendship between these two guys that are trying to survive the zombie apocalypse um it's a little bit different than your typical zombie movie but i definitely recommend checking this one out i really enjoy this one a lot i got really invested in the two main characters in this one and um some of the things they come across, they come across like a, a group of people uh, who tell them to stay away and they, 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 one guy refuses to stay away from them and then it, it just turns into some bad things happening. It's kind of like a, a longer episode of Walking Dead, early Walking Dead maybe, um, before it just got out of hand. But uh, yeah, I definitely recommend checking out the battery, especially if you guys are fans of zombie films. 
And then another one he sent me again. I'll be watching this one here soon as we get closer to Christmas. And that is the mean one. I cannot wait to check this out. I want to watch it now, but I'm holding off until December. Um, but I will watch this one very soon. This is a very generic release. I don't know. It's, these are like made on demand, which is probably the way a lot of things are going to go. But you do have, um, what's his name, playing um, the, the Grinch or whatever. Again, I haven't not seen the movie. Uh, uh, Art the Clown, <laughs> David Howard Thornton uh, plays um, the the villain in this. So um, after I found that out, I, I definitely got to check this out. But uh, I will be watching that soon. And then the last one he sent over was uh, Roadkill. This is a Fangoria Presents. I did put this in the player, and then something happened, and I didn't get to watching it, and then I kind of forgot about it, and it is set over on <laughs> the player area. And um, I've been watching movies in the other room lately, and I kind of forgot I had... I had this, so I do apologize for that, but I will be watching that soon. All right, let's move on to, this is more of your uh, boutique label stuff. Well, this is kind of, this is the from the Vestor Online. We got Jamie Lee Curtis in Blue Still. I did watch this. Wow, I, I, I've been missing out a lot. This was another movie that they don't make them like this anymore. Uh, you got What's-His-Name as the villain, uh, Ron Silver. His character in this is so messed up and it, it's way different than i thought it was going to be it's basically a cat and mouse type film between her and his character and things happen people don't believe her that he's he's the killer and all this and um it's just a, a lot of back and forth she doesn't really have the evidence to prove things and she's getting kind of demoted within the police department and he's kind of uh just shows up randomly at times and just teases her, taunts her, and he has really weird things going on upstairs. I, I don't want to give too much away, but if you guys haven't seen Blue Still, definitely check this out. I, I, I can't recommend this one enough. I don't know how this one fell under my radar, um, especially having Jamie Lee Curtis in it, but uh, this is definitely worth picking up. Um, yeah, glad to have that one. And of course, I had to get it anyways because it's a Vestron release and I have them all to that point. All right, uh, we're almost done, guys. We're almost there. We're at like, uh, I, I don't know, half an hour or so. Maybe less. All right, this next one, I had to get this. I wasn't really going to upgrade it, but, you know, fear of missing out got me. And that is the Hellraiser Quartet of Torment 4K release from Arrow Video. I was kind of hesitant on this one because of the packaging, but um, you guys have all seen this by now. You do have like the cutouts. I know they released the Chatter one as a uh, site exclusive. You get the nice hardbound book. Again, you guys have all seen this by now. Just a lot of information on the film, photos, things on, on the films. F films? <laughs> wow, on the films. Um, but nice thick book. And uh, yeah, I, I didn't want to miss out on this uh original pressing i guess because i'm sure they'll do a smaller one without the book and everything and then you have all four films in here which if you have the scarlet box there's not really a need to upgrade except for the fourth one and you do have the work print for it as well um but yeah very cool packaging uh, other than i i'm just not a fan of like the digi pack type design i wish it would have been in individual cases but um still really cool and there's features on here not on the Scarlet Box and vice versa. So I will be keeping the Scarlet Box and I like that packaging a little bit more as well. But um, again, fear of missing out got me. FOMO is is a, is a pain sometimes, you know. Um, so I had to add this to the collection. Being a horror fan and a fan of the Hellraiser franchise. Let me put that back in there. And I haven't seen the fourth one in a while. So, you know, in the Scarlet Box, we only got the first three. So we do have the fourth one in here. Again, it has the original work print with it as well. Um, I mean, you guys can see how many features are on here. I'm not going to go through everything in this video. I did an unboxing. I don't remember if it was here or on, on TikTok, but one of them I did an unboxing on. But yeah, again, I I had to have that. I mean, I, 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 I hesitated and hesitated and finally, and I, I had to do the uh, pay and four on that too because I... Things are th things are tough all over, man. All right, uh, I believe I did an unboxing for this over here. Man, that might have been my last video I did over here. 
Uh, I did get the Blob 4K. Of course, it came with the poster and everything and the alternate slip. Uh, transfer looks absolutely amazing. I did re-watch this um, upon getting the 4K, and it's, it, it's about as perfect as you can get for a 4K transfer. It looks and sounds absolutely amazing. If you guys are fans of the Blob, definitely grab that 4K. And then I did pick up the others. Uh, I got this before the... This is how long it's been since I did an update. I got this before the Criterion sale started, but it was uh, like half price anyways on sale. Um, but yeah, we've been waiting for a 4K for the others. Uh, this had a Blu-ray early on, but I think it was like really hard to get, really out of print. Um, so they did release this on 4K and Blu-ray from Criterion. I have not revisited this one yet, but um, definitely happy to have this one finally. There's a lot more Criterions I, I, I want and need to get, but um, again, times are tough. And you got the 4K of Videodrome. I, I really want to snag that one. There, there's a lot of others. If you guys are interested, again, in what I'm needing and wanting, there is a link to my wish list. Um, I don't expect anybody to send anything, but if you do, it's definitely appreciated. All right, uh, finish off with the new ones from Vinegar Syndrome. Should be getting that uh, new package here soon, which, again, I'll do an unboxing for uh, where we get the Prophecy Collection and stuff. Uh, we got Mother's Day on 4K because, yeah, why not? <laughs> I did have this already from um, 88 Films, I, I, I believe. But uh, this is an old uh, Troma release. I, do, I think, yeah, Troma. I think three of these four were Troma uh, titles. Uh, this one, I, I I didn't love this one. I mean, it's basically two backwoods brothers um, kidnapping and doing things to women, um, even while their mother watches. Um, one scene where that happens is kind of disturbing, actually. It kind of got to me a little bit. But uh, there's no real plot or story to this. It's just, you know, there to have fun with. And it's decent. The transfer looks absolutely amazing, though. Awesome transfer um, on that 4K. And these, of course, are stacked with features. Uh, and then we got uh, Blood Sucking Freaks. This is another one that... This has a little bit more story than Mother's Day. Um, I, di I did like this one overall. This is another one that I had the 88 Films release of. And um, this is a 4K uh, release as well. I did unboxing for this already on here, so I'm not going to go too much into detail. But I did watch, I did watch all of these. Uh, the 4K, again, the transfer looks really, really good. And this is a um, reversible... I don't think I reversed it on here because I was I didn't know what was going on, but it is a reversible um, slip. You can you could actually turn it around and have that as your slip if you wanted, which I'm not going to do. I'm gonna keep it that way. But uh, blood sucking freaks. It's basically a guy runs this uh, show where things are real, but the crowd thinks they're tricks. Um, and uh, people are actually getting killed and hurt and mangled and everything. And uh, he eventually um, kidnaps this uh, ballerina to um, improve his show. And you have uh, her boyfriend and a detective on the case of where she went. She's kind of hypnotized, kind of um, um, under his spell, if you will. Uh, and when they finally find her there, she says, no, that I'm doing this upon my free will, but she's really not. She's really just can't make her own decisions. And some other things happen. And the, the, the gore, there's a lot of gore, but it's like that, um, it's like that paint looking gore. You know, it's not, it's not very realistic. Uh, lots of, lots of flesh in this though, too. And then uh, also from Vinegar Syndrome, uh, we got uh, Rabid Grannies with this awesome lenticular cover. Lenticular on both sides. Uh, this is not a 4K. This is a regular release. This was also a trauma title. I did not own this one at all. Had not seen this movie. Um, it takes a while to get going. It takes about 40, 45 minutes to get going. And you're you're doing everything you can to not fall asleep at that point. There's a lot of people sitting around talking, doing nothing. And um, it's like, on, I think it's like the British countryside or some shit. Um, but uh, yeah, I, I, I was trying everything I could not to turn this off at the beginning. But once this thing gets going, holy shit. It does not stop. It is absolutely a gore fest. The practical effects are awesome. Um, so, yeah, pick this up, fast forward about 40 minutes, and have yourself a fucking blast because Rabbit Grannies just takes it to another level with uh, the practical effects, the gore, everything. Um, not much story to this either. I don't even know what the fucking story is. Uh, somebody sends this box, and when they open it, 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 it like infects the, the grannies that, that are sitting there next to this box and turns them into these creatures and... I don't really know what the fucking story is, but uh, I had a blast with that once it got going. 
Uh, last one here, and last one for Ron Vinegar Syndrome. This was not a trauma release, but that is Mark of the Devil. Another one I had not seen. I did have the Arrow Video standard release, but never watched it. Um, this has a very, very young Udo Kier in it, but uh, you can't hear his awesome voice because it's dubbed over. Um, I don't know if there was an option for an original track or not. I, I didn't even check when I was watching it because I was just already into the movie. Uh, the beginning of this, though, like the way it looks, looks absolutely fucking terrible for like the first, I don't, I don't know, 10 minutes or so. I'm like, what is this? I can barely tell what is going on. Everything's kind of like mirrored and weird and grainy. And I, I and then it finally clears up and looks and looks fantastic after that. This is a uh, 4K release on this one as well. But good story. It's basically about some witch hunters and stuff like that. And uh, they, they claim this one woman is a witch. And Udo Kier's character pretty much saves her. And then they kind of go after him and stuff. And... Um, yeah, it's 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 pretty damn good movie. You want, want, once it gets going and once you figure out what's going on, um, you can He's kind of under the rule of this leader um, who's doing things by God and you know uh, you know God's will, and he's not exactly what he seems to be either. And uh, a lot of flesh in this one too. A lot of flesh, and um, it's good. <laughs> it's good flesh. Um, but yeah, that that's it for the hall guys. Um, quite a few quite a few titles. I was waiting and waiting and waiting to do this update because I didn't have much for a long time. I mean, the Black Friday stuff really helped and then getting a couple things in for review. Other than that, it would have been just a few titles to show you guys, and I didn't want to waste your or my time for just, you know, a handful of titles. But, um, yeah, we, we made it. We made it through an update. I don't know if there's anything I'm, I'm missing. I don't think I picked anything else up again. Again, times are tough right now, guys. I had probably, I had 14 titles in my cart on the MVD sale, which is still going on. Um, but I just, I just can't. I just, I just can't do that right now. Um, you guys know the cost of living is insane. I'm trying to clean up um, some debts from some other things and trying to get finances in order so um pickups are far and few between unfortunately um i i know screen factory's got a lot of 4ks coming out here soon but a lot of those are upgrades from the the blu-rays so i'm not like in dire need of them um but next year we, we got a lot of stuff coming out next year we got those cameron 4k those james cameron 4ks coming out we got the abyss uh, true lies um, Aliens, the sequel, uh, all coming to 4K. We got Joe's Apartment coming to Blu-ray finally from Warner Archive. We got, I mean, there's just a slew of movies coming out in 2024. And those saying physical media is dead is, you, you guys are completely, completely wrong. Maybe in store, but it is alive and well for sure. Um, a little indigestion there. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, it's it's... It's expensive, though. It is a very, very expensive hobby. And as you can see behind me, I'm running out of room. I have a whole nother room full of movies, too. And um, I just don't have the shelves. I don't have the shelf space. I have the space for the shelves, but I don't have the shelving. And it's like, buy four movies or buy a shelf. <laughs> so, yeah, it's kind of... I need to just break down and, and, and buy them. But um, definitely follow me over on TikTok, guys, and get in on the live streams. I show all the movies in this room, the other room. Uh, we have a really good time over there, and um, I, I go two, three hours every live just hanging out with you guys and taking requests and play some music in the background and all that stuff. And, uh, yeah, it's it, it's it's fun and interactive, and I, I love the communication uh, within the group of, of movie lovers. So, um like, subscribe, all that good stuff. If you guys have it, if you stayed till the end, you might as well hit subscribe because apparently you like it enough to watch for, you know, like 40 fucking minutes. So, um, what is my sign off over here? I, I don't do that over there. So, um, peace, love, happiness to all of you, and I will catch you next time. Later.